Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we are going to be talking about Casper Network CSPR. You guys already know the deal. We have been waiting forever for this price action to brew on Casper. And uh, what better time to really kind of start talking about Casper than to watch it passing over five Five and a half cents. Um, five and a half cents has been the big moment. Now, yes, I'm recording this a little bit earlier in the day. I'm recording this around like roughly uh, 7 a.m. in the morning. Um, I do have some business travel today, so I am recording this a little bit ahead. I do apologize if the price action does change within that time, but don't worry. We will be talking about it in this video as well. But nonetheless, yes, uh, this is absolutely beautiful to see. We have been accumulating this thing for well over a year now. It has been, I mean, it's been so long. Listen, we started really accumulating back here. I guess technically it hasn't been a whole year, um, but we really started to accumulate back here in June. And during this entire time we were buying, especially in September, September was a huge month for me personally. Um, I added well over um, what I ever imagined that I would be holding in terms of Casper, but it was for a good measure and um, you know, it was something that I seen as an incredible opportunity and I was not passing it up because as we do look at what's out there in this market, you know, compared to what most, uh, you know, see, you know, Casper is completely different. Whether or not you want to believe that or not, you know, all it does take is like a little bit of reading to understand just how diverse Casper is from the tech stack, but also just from the, what the team is focused on. Um, but also, Real quick, I want to note the amount of watch list, 157,881 individuals have this on their watch list. Yeah, um, that's pretty crazy to me. So if you guys missed it, Casper Stats actually finally updated and pushed their new website. It took a little bit of time. Personally, I think that this looks absolutely beautiful i love the ui it looks incredible i'm very happy about this you guys can see everything it looks great um, but over here we have the accounts 110,442 accounts compared to 157,881 watch list also with this over at casper live 10.67 percent apy still on staking 75% of the total supply still gone. Even with this recent price action, I still believe we are so extremely early. Now, does that mean to go out and buy this massive candle? Well, ultimately, it's up to you. But in my opinion, I would wait for things to cool down a little bit. Um, but we've also had such a long time to accumulate. And I don't want to be that guy that says, hey, you guys had a long time. You should have been accumulating. Um, but technically speaking, yes, this is the best time to buy an, uh, an altcoin. But hey, it's okay because most people will be shilling Casper at a dollar plus on their YouTube channel and on Twitter. And most people will be buying at a dollar. So is five and a half cents not you know that bad of an area to be averaging in still eh, technically speaking not really but i would wait to see what happens next around price action we'll talk about that but like i said we have been waiting so long going back to march i did say waiting patiently for the casper volcano to erupt so far we have seen h bar xrp xdc and a few others have a nice strong break i'm watching five and a half cents closely for the next couple days slash weeks patience will pay off greatly and uh, i did follow this up with another tweet because guess what i made a few tweets during march and this one got a ton of uh ton of attention Fifty-one thousand views and a lot of people are looking into it and what's crazy is there is so much fun around it. Here's the first comment talking about no max supply. I made a response to the, this tweet and I said the responses on this tweet make me laugh. I'd rather hold X token if it has an infinite amount. This project has better tokenomics than Casper, so I'll pass. Supply means nothing in the world of enterprise. We make the supply of a token the center point of every argument. It's one of the many factors behind the project's success. The argument to pass on Casper is dictated by an 8% APY inflation rate on the token. This is comical considering it would take a decade to have the same supply as most top 15 slash 20 tokens. 
I personally love to see people pass up an opportunity like Casper. It adds more fuel to the fire when it starts to ignite and spread. And uh, yes, like as we do look at Casper, one, think about it like this. When we look at the listing opportunity for this, like this is not on, this is like barely on any major exchanges. Where's Binance? Where's Coinbase? Where's Crack? And like, there is so much listing opportunity for um for for casper it's crazy and you know when this gets listed on binance or coinbase or anything like it's game over you know you might you might add a billion dollars in market cap just by a listing like that and that's not me being you know crazy or anything like that that's how fast things change when we get listings on those exchanges i mean it makes sense look at these exchanges look at the volume on these exchanges i mean any of these top you know five top ten um exchanges would be enough to uh add a massive amount of gasoline to the to the fire um but also yes like when we look at the top 10 top 15 top 25 projects i mean look at the tokenomics on these things first off let me go to circulating supply real quick so here we have the top 100 projects and their token supply. Now, I'm not going to talk about BitTorrent and I'm not going to talk about Shiba Inu or any of these other ones, but we'll talk about Dogecoin. Dogecoin's in the number eight spot with still $13 billion worth of uh, market cap and it's sitting at about 139 billion tokens. Don't get me even started on Shiba Inu, by the way. Um, so that's very interesting. And then you also have Tron. 90 point almost 8 billion tokens out there sitting at a six billion dollar market cap and there's so many v chain xrp ada i mean even h bar xlm i mean all of these tokens have a massive amount of supply compared to casper and here you guys have casper i mean as we do look at the tokenomics look at it compared to matic matic by the way a lot of people call them for ten dollars on matic I mean, the tokenomics are not that different between Matic and Casper. This thing did hit, mind you, a $3 price target. Most people, like I said, call them for $10 plus on Matic. Now, I don't know if we go to $10 on Casper, but I will say I'm very excited to see where Casper goes with, you know, comparing it to the top 25 tokens. Like once you get into the top 15, uh, that's when we start to see 10x. 10x from today's price, mind you. We're not even talking about the lows that we were buying. 17x to Maddox market cap today. Check out Dogecoin, 21x, $1.20 for Casper. In my opinion, a dollar is the minimum price target that I'm looking at. The minimum. I don't really have a max, but I will say I'm definitely looking at around three to six dollars. I could definitely see three to six dollars being hit. But to be more conservative and for you know less risk. I will say like a dollar is the minimum target. Um, a dollar fifty to three dollars has always been my main focus point, but I do think that we could see much higher price targets, especially as you do look at like the potential market cap. Like when we look at a hundred billion dollars in market cap, you know this is hundred and sixty four x to nine dollars and fifteen cents. Crazy. So a six dollar Casper sitting at about sixty five point five billion dollars. Let me ask all of you and drop down in the comments. I want to hear from all of you. Do you think sixty five point five billion dollars is conservative, or do you think it's unrealistic? Now we could also set this to you know a twenty x. We could set it to a ten x. No, we could set this all day to other things. But you know what's crazy to me is that when you look at the potential market cap, like even at a 75, so we'll say three quarters of a billion, of, of $100 billion, $75 billion in market cap would be almost a $7 cap. Like this is why we were talking about Casper so often. This is why I was talking about Casper, you know, for well over a year now, because the upside potential on Casper is absolutely insane especially for what they are doing and a lot of people are starting to realize casper's true potential anthony uh scaramucci again from skybridge which they already announced um, a major partnership with casper recently talked to people are doing the homework for on casper and the new adoption cycle is unfolding One hundred and eighty-three thousand views like we have so much influence around casper now 
we are starting to see the community growth building and growing as well it's only a matter of time and honestly there's been so many individuals out there that have been doing very great work on casper listen you know i can't i can't take credit for casper there has been so much happening around casper there's been incredible individuals out there some of the best out there one kevin cage obviously he's been killing it also the x frontier guys if you have not been following the x frontier over on twitter this guy literally has less than 3,000 followers by the way his youtube channel i think he has less than like 2,000 subscribers what are you guys doing go check this kid out uh, and i don't mean to say kid i mean I, I i don't mean like disrespect like that but i'm just saying like go check this guy out absolute absolutely incredible uh research absolutely incredible content as well definitely go check him out um does a ton of it does a ton of work for the casper ecosystem um and as well as other ma many projects as well but I, I i love the content that this this guy puts out because one it's incredible in terms of the knowledge but also the information that he's relying to ecosystems like casper and we do see here he's actually talking about advasa saying advasa is a pioneer in earned wage access which allows instant payroll access to employees at the blockchain hub in da uh, davos the global managing director of advasa announced they have partnered with a company in japan that expands their potential user base to 150,000 plus companies and 3 million workers they hold extensive patents for pain advanced technology in the u.s japan and other countries 83 according to center for responsible learning the ewa market tripled from 3.2 billion dollars in 2018 to 9.5 billion in 2020 most up-to-date valuation i found was 12 billion in 2021 currently our payroll systems are outdated 80 percent of surveyed businesses say they are open to using ewa technology advasa partnered with ipwe again direct connection like ipwe is one of the biggest ones uh, we've we've been discussing ipwe since the dawn of time and honestly, it's been one of the most incredible partnerships for Casper because it's just a domino effect. But they partner with them to boost EWA in the US and scale their business globally. The, this EWA will streamline payments that are quickly transferred into any bank account card or e-wallet. This year, they have added support for cryptocurrency payments as well. All this on Casper Network and check these out so you guys have that patent talking about um the advancing technology in the us japan and other countries then over here this is talking about the growth within the ewa market also over here you can see in a poll conducted by ey 2020 80 percent of participants indicated that they would be open to using ewa for uh payment processing which already has been widely implemented in u.s companies like walmart uber mcdonald's uh, burger king domino's chili's and other large service providers and over here they do also talk about the partnership with ipw and uh yeah i think that this is incredible like i said like the domino effects of some of these partnerships are very extensive and with all, everything happening listen we still have yet to see casper 2.0 there's still a ton of nda partnerships still left to announce casper tell me right now this team has been relentless i listen i'm gonna say it right now casper is my number one holding throw that out the window though this has been one of the most incredible teams i've seen within this space i'm not even saying that to you know shill or anything like that when we look at the casper team they have been relentless look at all these major updates that we've seen in just 24 hours not only that but community engagement they've been doing these twitter spaces they have a discord now uh, centered on community engagement as well a medium like they have been centered on community engagement and community growth for so long and their updates consistent updates always building always growing this has been one of the most solid teams and projects that we have been able to find within this space and i seriously cannot wait for the future in my opinion 100x i believe that this is a 100x opportunity run but even if we don't go to a 100x at a dollar from today's price it's a 17x at two dollars a 35x at three dollars a 53x three dollars is very realistic that is where ada went that's where matic went and again these market caps 
on these tokens is completely different than what Casper would be. Now, let's go back here to Matic. December of 2021. December 26. And real quick, I just want to show you guys this uh, before I wrap up the video. If we go to historical snapshots, and we go back to 2021, and we go to uh, December 26th, and we look at Matic. This is when Matic had its all-time high. Now, mind you, yes, market cap-wise, it did have a lot lower market cap due to the supply being slightly lower than it is today. But going off of just this market cap, this would still be a 33x. Right within my range of what I'm expecting. That $1.50 to $3 range is perfect for Casper, in my opinion. But also, ADA. I mean, this isn't even ADA's all-time high, and it still boasted a $48 billion market cap. Look at this. This is insane. A 79x at a bear. Th this is pretty much like the bear market beginning. This is 2021, the end of December. Solana. Solana was sitting at about a $61 billion market cap. Again, look at this. That's a 100x. Now listen. Are we guaranteed to see a 100x, a 50x, a, you know, anything? No. Nothing in this space is guaranteed. That's why we make sure to get our initial investment out when we feel confident. That could be at a 5x, for an example. 28 cents, in my opinion, that will happen. That's like, an, that's like initial targets before we even start to have a major run-up. Initial investment out at a 5x or even a 2x. Listen, at a 2x, 11 cents, take our initial investment out, de-risk fully, let the rest ride. We have a target in mind, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. It's okay, we have our initial investment out. So we just chill. We let it go. We let it see where it's going to go. But for the most part, my targets are that $1.50 to $3 range. And that's a very interesting range because of the market cap today. I mean, a $16.4 billion market cap at a 26X and a $32.8 billion market cap at a 53X. This token is something very special. The team behind it is very special. The project's coming over here to Casper, very special. I'm very excited for the year going forward on in time. Um, I hope that everyone has been enjoying the price action lately. And I hope that if you guys did enjoy this video, that you'll smash that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. And also, if you guys do want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are. In this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.